guys, it's Rosie, welcome back. Today, I am flying to Seattle by myself, which is crazy. I've never flown alone and let alone across the country. Pretty excited, I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm packing. So the plan for this trip is my brother and I are going camping over the weekend and then I get to see Seattle. He's working out there this summer, so that'll be a great time to visit him and explore the city. I'm gonna get started with what I'm bringing in my personal item. I'm just bringing this computer backpack Sadly, I will have to hike with it. I might look a little dumb hiking with a computer backpack, but I don't think we're gonna do any hikes that are too aggressive, so it should be okay. I guess let's get started. First, obviously I'm gonna have my computer and my charger. That stuff is not ready yet, so that will be going in the computer sleeve. I also have my iPad in here and charger and everything so I can watch movies, read, books, listen to audiobooks, all that stuff on there. Next, I'm bringing my drone. I thought it'd be fun to bring it and fly it around places that are not national parks and are not the city if we end up going to any. I haven't taken my drone out hardly at all this summer. So that's gonna go at the bottom of my backpack. Then I just kind of have like assorted food. So I have the food for today. Most of my food is in the fridge right now. So this stuff is just stand in. I'm just gonna put it aside for now because this is not the final food situation. Next, I have some extra masks. Yes, I do still wear a mask while traveling. And I have an external battery because it's a long flight. It's like six and a half hours out. So I wanna make sure that I have enough battery for everything. I also have a headlamp because we're camping and extra batteries. I have my toiletries and I don't think I have pre-check. I haven't like scoured my boarding pass for it, but Normally I do get pre-checked this time. I did not uh, because I'm not traveling with my mom and I don't have it myself yet just for a couple more weeks. I'm bringing this. This does not have liquids in it. And then also I have my liquids bag and my sunscreen. So I haven't not flown pre-check in like four years. It's been a long time. I have to keep this stuff all separate. I also have gum, of course. That's a really important one. I have this rollable water bottle. I think this is a one liter size. I always bring these while traveling because you can just pack them away really easily. And I don't wanna have like a plastic water bottle that's giant to bring or a metal water bottle that's really heavy. This is probably not enough water for hiking, but I'll have to deal with it. Next I have my charger bag. So this has my phone charger, Fitbit charger, iPad charger, camera batteries, camera charger, headphones, wireless headphones, all of the goodies are in here. Then I also have a computer mouse because I'm gonna be there three work days also while my brother's working. So I will be doing school and work and everything. Next, I have this book, The Host. I didn't wanna bring one of my Twilight books even though we're going to Forks because they're giant, first of all. Second of all, I've already read them. And third of all, I don't wanna leave them once I finish. So this is the Host by Stephanie Meyer. I thought that was fitting to bring a different one of her books, but this one is decently long. I think it should last me. I mean, it's, it's like 800 pages, so there's no way I'm gonna get through this actually. But if I were to get through it, I would be able to give it away or donate it or whatever because I don't think I need to keep it. But it's also pretty small, so that's great. Next, I have just a regular grippy tripod. This might end up in my carry-on, not my personal item, just depending on how space works out. I have my lockable fanny pack from Target. This just has like the little clippies so that your bag can't just be ripped open. So this has my wallet, earplugs, medicine, hand gel, of course, that's very important. Some more extra masks. And I'll put my phone in here and my boarding pass and everything. So this should fit in the top of my backpack when I'm actually getting on the plane. Then I have my travel documents. This is like vaccine card, bus tickets, all that stuff. I have a pillow also. This does not need to be included in your bags. You will never get stopped for a pillow, or at least I have never been stopped for one secret it's not actually a pillow it's a rolled up fleece blanket so i will have a blanket because i am sleeping on the floor in his room i have to sleep on an air mattress on the floor so i brought my own fleece blanket because when we're camping also i won't have any like blankets hopefully we can take something from the hotel but i just wanted to be safe so now it's time to move on to the suitcase this is my suitcase. It's actually not mine, it's my brother's. I usually travel out of a personal item size bag only. So this is a lot of stuff for me. I would normally never bring this much stuff because my bag is usually like this big and that's it. First, I have a tote bag. I thought this might be nice if we, I don't know, there's some hot springs in Olympic National Park, but this is kind of like more of a maybe thing, depending on if I can fit everything else. I have my old hairbrush because it's completely squished. I bought a new one, but now this is my travel brush. 
And then I have all my clothes. I guess I'll just speed run through it. Black shirt, blue shirt, bikini, athletic shirt, fleece, green shorts, hat, gloves, shorts, Love on tour shirt. And yes, I am bringing it because Harry is back in the US and I wanna find my fellow Harrys, possibly in the airport on the way back, maybe around Seattle, we'll see. And then I have all my socks and underwear and everything. So next we're kind of on to like camping stuff, I guess. Oh, and I have my belts. So next I have this brimmed hat. So I'm bringing this baseball hat, but I might want a brimmed hat when we're hiking. It also has a bug net in the top. It does look quite stupid when you're wearing it without the bug net because it adds like two inches to your head, but it's two in one, so what can I say? I also have a poncho and space blanket just in case. And I have a reusable poncho. I might just not bring this. I was at first going to bring a rain jacket and then I thought reusable poncho. And then I thought, well, I could probably just be fine with a plastic poncho. So this is kind of a maybe. I don't think it's gonna rain, but I know I would be mad if I didn't have something. If it did rain, I will consider this. Here's some more of the food I'm bringing. This is like a peanut meal. It's dehydrated and packeted. So this will be good for camping. I have flip-flops. Sadly, I couldn't bring my Burks because I need to have some shower shoes. I have a sheet bag. So this is just from Walmart. It's like exactly what it sounds like. It's a bag of sheet, it's like a sleeping bag. So I will use this when I'm camping and when I'm on the floor. So I have my backpacking air mattress that is to, and then my fleece blanket will make a hopefully comfortable bed. I have two gluten-free Annie's mac and cheese cups. These are pretty good. They're fun for traveling because you just get hot water or I'll show you how I make hot water, but you just pour the water in and wait and then you have mac and cheese. So I do have a lot of traveling food. I might not need this much. Like I said, I have a lot of food in the fridge too. I need to look over it again. I also have my sports sunglasses. These will be good for hiking. I really need to have two pairs of sunglasses. I have my other pair that are in my sneakers ready to go because if one of my pairs breaks and I don't have sunglasses, then I'm gonna get headaches pretty easily. This is another thing that I might reconsider because it's like, it's really big. This is my A-Light chair. It's basically just a folding chair. You can see the metal in it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring this. I know my brother doesn't have one out there. Probably be fine if we don't have camping chairs and then just sit on the picnic table at our campsite. Then I have a bag of utensils and napkins and such. These are all just like plastic for travel. The reason I have those is because of mac and cheese for one, but I have this handy dandy little cooking kit that I can use anywhere I have electricity. So this is an immersion heater. Basically you plug it into the wall and you put this into a metal cup. I have a little Yeti cup. So you put it into the cup, you stick it down the side and it heats up your water. So you kind of have to watch it because they do overheat and can um, burn themselves out. But if you're careful, it'll heat up water to nice and hot. And then you can put it into your Annie's mac and cheese cup or you can make whatever other dehydrated food that you have. So I can make that in here, which it is kind of big, but I think it will be worth it, especially because I don't have a water bottle. So whenever I'm in the hotel room or just hanging out, I can just drink straight out of this. So I think that's everything other than, like I said, my computer, my phone, my camera, all that stuff. There is definitely some stuff I need to reconsider now that I'm thinking about it. I don't think I can bring the chair. I just need to look at some of the stuff again, but I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I'm bringing to Seattle. I can't wait to bring you guys along on my trip. It's gonna be so fun. I'm literally leaving in six hours. So that's a little scary, but so yeah. Um, check back to see content for my trip. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts. Check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye.